If you need some small bathroom budget-friendly remodel ideas, I think you are going to love today's video. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. You might remember my brother and sister-in-law. They have a 1970s house that they've been renovating room by room over the past couple years. Sean and I helped them with their kitchen remodel. Plus I also helped them redecorate their nursery for their little girl. Today we are gonna to tackle the 1970s original powder room on the main floor. We did it on a budget and I can't wait to share with you the whole transformation. Let's get started. Here's what this bathroom looked like before. It's your typical powder room, 1970s style, with the old wallpaper, old linoleum, and the old cabinetry and countertops. We're gonna reuse the toilet and some other elements in this space. First things first, my brother did replace all the flooring himself with some leftover luxury vinyl plank he had on hand to match the rest of his house. I think this looks fantastic. Now I'm removing the old cabinet above the toilet. We're gonna put something else here. Plus I'm removing the old towel bars and toilet paper holder. Now it's time to remove the wallpaper. This can be a daunting task, but my tips for this are simply remove the vinyl layer by hand. Just kind of peel that off, score it if you have to. And then I create this special mixture to take away the paper part of the wallpaper. I add a couple tablespoons of fabric softener to some hot water in a spray bottle, and then I shake that up. Next, I'm applying this to that paper backing of the wallpaper on the wall. Make sure you get it nice and wet. Let it soak for about 15, 20 minutes longer if you have to. And then I'm taking a spatula and just scraping everything away. Sometimes you'll get big, satisfying chunks of this off. Sometimes you have to work a little harder. You can spray more of that solution on it if needed. So here's how it looks without the wallpaper and everything on the floor. I'm cleaning that up and then I just take a nice scrubby sponge and some soap and water and just wipe down the walls to make sure there's no more residue left. Now I'm taking some drywall and paneling adhesive and I'm applying it to the back of this beadboard wall paneling. I found this at the Home Depot Canada. It's relatively inexpensive and it's going to add some charm to this powder room. I'm also applying it to the wall with some finishing nails and my super handy finishing nail gun. We received this vanity as a gift from Home Depot Canada. It's by Thomasville Cabinetry. It's a gorgeous warm blue color and my sister-in-law loves this so much. I am attaching it to the wall on the studs and then also adding this all-in-one vanity top that's seamless and will be nice and easy to clean. I'm just using some silicone and attaching the top to the bottom. Sean drilled some holes in the back for all of the plumbing and I'm loving how this looks. Now I'm taking my little miter saw and cutting some trim. I am attaching this to the top and the bottom of my beadboard paneling. I'm making sure to prime everything with his kitchen and bath primer so that everything is nice and waterproof and mildew resistant. I think this really helps in a bathroom, especially if you're using MDF. I'm applying this trim all around the top and the bottom of the paneling with my finishing nail gun. Now I'm painting all of the paneling and the trim with one of my favorite white colors. This is Whisper White by Bear, which I think is a relatively true white with just a hint of warmth. This is gonna really brighten up the bathroom and I love how paint just makes everything feel new and fresh on a budget. Now I color match the vanity to some bare paint. I just got a little $5 sample pot and I'm priming and painting the side of this cabinet. We didn't get a cover panel, so I thought paint would be a nice budget-friendly way to tie it in. I found this peel and stick wallpaper on Wayfair. It's by Rifle Paper Co. Absolutely gorgeous. When I found it, I knew it was the perfect statement piece for this bathroom because it has the same blue as that vanity cabinet, plus it has a little bit of gold and some greens. I'm applying it to all of the upper parts of the wall in this bathroom and I just use a straight edge and a craft knife to cut everything so it's perfect over the trim and the ceiling. 
We're actually keeping the original mahogany window trim door and door trim in this bathroom. My sister-in-law and brother really wanted to keep this throughout their home just to give a nod to the original 1970s look. And I actually really like how it warms up this space. And I think it looks really neat contrasted with the white beadboard and trim. Now Sean's helping me add this faucet. It's an inexpensive one from Amazon and I love how it adds this cottage classic vibe to the space. We're also adding a light fixture, also inexpensive from Amazon, to above the mirror. We're actually using the existing toilet. It was in perfect condition, so that's definitely a way you can save money on any bathroom remodel. Simply reuse any of the fixtures that are in good condition and still look up to date. Now I'm continuing with the peel and stick wallpaper now that we have all of the electrical done and I just use a craft knife, a utility knife to cut around any of the electrical. I also had Sean come in and add a new GFCI plug and a updated light switch to this bathroom. When you're using wallpaper, just make sure that the edge that doesn't match at the end is hiding. So mine's just kind of above the door. You can't even really see where it matches up. This gorgeous gold framed mirror is from Structube. Nice and budget friendly at $70 Canadian. I'm adding it to above the vanity with a drywall anchor and screw. I love how this looks. Definitely an upgrade from that builder grade mirror that was here. Another trick to add a little bit of style to powder rooms like this is to just upgrade all those little accessories like the towel rings and the toilet paper holder. I chose to match everything to my mirror and faucet so that nice brushed gold color. It really does elevate the space for not very much money at all. Into the studs, I'm adding this bracket and then I'm attaching this shelf with some brackets and screws. My mom and dad actually made this for my brother and sister-in-law with some scrap lumber they had on hand. It is so gorgeous. I found this nice petite little shelf on Amazon and I'm assembling it and placing it in this corner. My brother just wants more storage for things like toilet paper and towels and this small little piece is perfect and it doesn't cover the heat register in front. I first added the original knob that came with the shelf, but then decided I needed to swap it out with a gold one, a brushed gold one. It's the little details I think make such a difference in little renovations like this. Speaking of details, I used some scrap peel and stick wallpaper to line the bottom of the vanity. This is gonna help with waterproofing that bottom and it adds a cute little accent when you open the door. We wanted to reuse the original 1970s knob from the original vanity to this new one, so I'm drilling a hole in the middle and installing. This is a bit of a unique placement, but it was the same placement as the original vanity had, and I love that it's a nod to the original character of this bathroom. I'm adding some fun art to the door of the bathroom and also adding some more accessories like this gold topped soap dispenser, as well as a simple striped towel, some faux plants, and some baskets and accessories. Simple accessories like this matched to your decor can really elevate your space. You don't have to spend a ton. We got these all off of Amazon, the dollar store, and Ikea. I'm also adding some baskets to the shelf and tons of toilet paper, easy access for everyone using this bathroom. So as a reminder, here is how this bathroom looked before. And here it is now. Definitely the thing I love most about this remodel is this wow statement wallpaper. I really think it makes the bathroom and sure matches beautifully with this Thompsonville cabinet vanity. 
I love that we were able to coordinate some inexpensive pieces through the accessories. I love all the beautiful brushed gold accents in this space. There's some hidden storage to make this room practical. And then all the fresh white bright trim just makes this room feel so much more light, bright, and fresh. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this bathroom renovation. Let me know down in those comments below what you think of the powder room now. If you're looking for some more small bathroom remodel ideas, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video up here next.